I have a modified version of Spider Monkey that uh, I've shown before. So uh, Spider Monkey is uh, the JavaScript interpreter from uh, Mozilla. And uh, what I did here, so it's uh, js.exe here on uh, Windows. This is the folder with the files. Now if I run uh, Spider Monkey, I have modified some of the commands like the eval command. When I do one plus two, so the expression one plus two is evaluated and we see that we have a tree as a result. But if we exit and we go have a look in the folder, we see that two new files have cre been created, uh, eval.log uh, files. And those files contain the argument that was passed on to eval, so one plus two. So this is something I used to uh, debug and analyze obfuscated uh, JavaScript that often uses uh, eval, but also uh, document.write uh, uh, and also uh, window navigate. So those three functions I've have implemented. And when you call those functions, the arguments are uh, written to a file.log. Uh, now the new thing that I did here is that uh, you can choose where the output goes. So it no longer has to go to a log file. You can also decide to dump it as uh, ASCII or hex or uh, its uh, raw values. So let's see how this works. I start uh, js.exe and then I select my output and this is something I added to the document object so it's the output property of the document object and here we are going to say lowercase a and that means that we want an ASCII dump. So now if I do an eval for example one plus well let's do one plus three this time The output is not written to disk, but is uh, output here to the screen. So first of all, uh, you have the, the size of the string and then you have a hex dump and an ASCII dump uh, of the string that was passed as an argument uh, to eval. So you have hex dump like this with an X. Then you just get an X dump, no ASCII dump. And you can also select just the dump, the raw output. And then you get the output here, uh, one plus three. All the letters here are lowercase. You can also use uh, uppercase letter and that has a different meaning. With uppercase le um, letters, there is no metadata like uh, the eval size that is uh, removed. So you just get the pure uh, dump like this and just get the, the ASCII dump here. And of course, if you want to have it back to file, you can do this here with output F eh, to send it back to the file like this. Now I use this to um, analyze obfuscated JavaScript like um, this JavaScript here, this sample. You can see this is a concatenation of uh, strings and uh, those are produced from uh, converting a number to a character code. And in the end the string is uh, evaluated. So we can uh, run, well, first let's delete the files here, the log files, like this. So we can um, run JavaScript on this sample. Okay, we get an error. And we have a eval file. Okay, you see here it's a, uh, up alert, uh, hello from PDF JavaScript.
So that is why we got an error here. App is not defined because the object app is not defined in this uh, spider monkey. So this is uh, again something we had already. Output to files. And now let's uh, do a dump here. So I'm going to run JavaScript. And I'm going to pass it an, uh, a statement. Document dot output a for an ASCII dump. And then you can pass it the sample like this. And then you see that you get the uh, ASCII hex dump of uh, the execution of sample.js. Of course, here you can select other output types. And the last thing that you can do, say that uh, sample.js is uh, inside a, a password uh, protected zip file, like this one here, sample.js.zip, then you can use my zip dump utility to extract it and then pipe it into JS. So let's run zip dump on the sample zip. We want to dump the content of the zip file here to standard out like this. And then we pipe this into spider monkey. So spider monkey with a statement document output to ASCII like this. And in here, just a dash to indicate that we want to parse the input from standard in like this here and this way here you have analyzed um, obfuscated Java javascript uh, script and uh, without that script being stored literally on disk because it is saved in a password protected zip file and also the output is not written to disk and it is here dumped to the screen so by doing this you can uh, analyze obfuscated JavaScript uh, scripts without having to store them on disk.